Today, I'll be showing you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve this type of look on your Samsung or Android device. Let's get started. Yo, what is up guys? My name is Aaron and I do a lot of mobile and PC related tech reviews here on this channel. So if you guys are into that sort of thing, please support the channel by subscribing and also liking the video as well. That way I can put out more content for you guys. All right guys, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I've been getting a lot of requests on how to achieve this clean, minimal setup. So I decided to do a little tutorial for you guys. Uh, first, I just wanna preface by saying not all things are free. And um, unfortunately, the two apps we'll be installing today cost about five bucks each. But with that said, trust me on this, it's well worth the money. You'll be able to unlock endless amounts of customization features and it'll really change the way you utilize your phone and utilize it the way you want to actually. And the same goes for my PC, my car. I don't mind spending money on things that I utilize daily to make them run better, to make them drive better and etc. Anyways guys, these apps are dirt cheap, so let's dive in. All right guys, the very first thing you guys wanna do is just go to the Google App Store and download Nova Launcher Prime. Um, I've been using Nova Launcher for years, so it is by far my favorite launcher. It's super easy to use loads of customization features, and it's cheap. There is a free version as well, but trust me, get the paid version and you won't be looking back. Next thing we're gonna do is download the KWG Custom Widget Maker, both the paid and free version. Again, you'll be able to unlock many customization features and pretty much get the phone the way you want it to look and the way you want it to run. Sorry guys, I think there's one more app we have to download and it's called UIcon. I believe it's only 99 cents, but trust me, it just makes everything so much easier to set up and also you get that clean minimal look that I have here. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna open Nova 7 and then we're gonna go to settings and then we're gonna select Nova 7 as our default launcher. So first we're just gonna go to home screen and I have my desktop grid at 12 by 11. I also have my icon layout at 80% with labels off, just to give it that clean look. Search bar placement, we have it at none. Then we're gonna to go to dock and put dock icons at five. And at icon layout, we're gonna turn off match desktop size and set icon size to 125% with labels off. And everything else we should leave at default. Next, we're gonna to go to the app drawer, and I have it on swipe and on vertical swipe, and I have the drawer app grid on four x four. As for the icon layout, I have it on 95% with labels on this time. Background color, I have it at this dark gray color with a transparency of 30%, which I'll explain later. Frequently used apps, you can have on or off, that's up to you and everything else again on default. After you guys done all that, you guys should have something looking a little bit different, not quite like this yet, but close. And from here, you guys can just pause the video and drag all the apps you guys commonly use, move them around and set them up the way you want to. For me, I have this three x three setup with rounded edges, but you guys can always choose to have them boxy or whatever that you like. All right guys, now after you guys get all that sorted out, we're gonna set up our wallpaper by opening the UIcons app and then going to wallpaper. Again, there's a lot of cool choices here, but the one I went with is the one right here. And after we select that, we're just gonna hit apply. Next, we're just gonna go back to our Nova settings and then we're gonna tap on look and feel. Here, we're gonna go to icon style theme and shape and select UIcon as our theme. So after you guys select UIcon as your theme, we're going back to the home page, and we're just gonna tap and hold any blank area of the screen. Then we're gonna scroll down until we get to KWGT, and then drag the four x four custom widget to our main screen. Again, we're gonna tap and hold the custom widget and resize the widget to a pretty good size like this. So after you guys resize the widget, we're going to tap the blank widget. And if this is your first time using this app, 
it should say, would you like to create a widget or something like that? Just go ahead and tap create and you should get a screen like this. Now the cool thing about KWGT is that you can go to the app store and just type KWGT and you'll find many free apps with plenty of widgets to choose from, which is why I said it's worth it to get the paid version. Anyways, so when you guys get to the screen, we're gonna select load preset and under installed packs, you should see the UIcon widgets pack. And as you can see here, I have a lot of free widget packs that I got from the app store, but for this setup, we're just gonna go with the one that came with UIcons. So after we select that, just hit the save button at the top and that should do it. Now, hopefully if you guys followed all the steps correctly, you should have something like this. When you swipe up, you should have an app drawer with a semi-transparent background as well. And here, you can do whatever and organize your apps, create folders, and all that good stuff. Alright guys, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. And also guys, please support the channel by subscribing and also liking the video as well. I'll always appreciate your guys' support. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!